Hello, this is Kent C. Uh, I'm here uh, showing you how to use uh, Skype Connect uh, SIP profile uh, in interoperability with the Brikiki SIP server for inbound uh, direct inward dial or direct dial inward uh, Skype number uh, calling. Uh, via session initiation protocol. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead here. We're going to go in the Skype manager, go to features, and we're going to go down to the Skype connect profile. Okay, then you're going to come to your incoming calls. This is the important part right here. Okay, you're going to come here. Okay, you want to make sure that you uh, add a number, okay, to your actual profile. All right. And then uh, we're going to come here. Okay. Uh, you're going to see this is the uh, profile. You're going to see it's registered. Okay. That's how you want it set up. Uh, registration. Okay. And then let me just go ahead and click over real quick. Okay. So now I'm in the Brikiki SIP server. And this is on the LAN. So I'm actually on the inner inside one. Okay, and uh, here's the settings. Okay, let's 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 show. Let, oh, my, uh, whoa! Good thing that thing saved my butt. Enter the password real quick. Okay, so. This is okay. This is the uh, actual um, server. Okay, here's all the registers uh, that I have on here. Okay, let me just see if I can spread that out a little more. There it is. Boom. Well, anyways, there's that. Uh, let's go back up here. Configuration. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and showcase it all show you so you can see how it, how it's done my settings how I made this work so you can see here as well how I had it set what I did to make it work Sorry, let me just go back up. The important part is you're having this, and you have to register. You have to turn this off. We'll turn off this first. Turn this on. Register authentication first. Register the actual number, the one two zero two seven three eight one five five zero. Register that as an actual number on the Brikiki SIP server first. Then once you do the register and you have a registry expiration, uh, then you want to turn on your upper registration to on with the register server as sip.skype.com with UDP leaving through registration off so it can register and then saving of course. And then that will actually give you the, uh, the ability here. And then let's see here. Okay, that's what it's been set to. Uh, here's my advanced. Okay, nothing crazy there. It's my user authentication. I actually had to create the users, so I went ahead and did this. But the important part too is under register clients. You can see that I've actually registered through upper the registration two times. This is the Brikiki. It's registered. And I actually did it, you know, to the contact URI with the password. Okay. So it goes up to the actual uh, Skype uh, registry. And then I registered the same credentials under the, uh, the actual, uh, you know, let's see what happened here. This is the phone, and I use the same credentials, the Bria uh, Professional soft phone. And then, of course, you can see I also registered uh, this number, same phone. You can see that. 
So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and just go back to the dial plan real quick. And then here's the dial plan that was used. Okay, so that's the dial plan. You can see that, uh, you know, I have uh, certain other numbers there. But we're only focusing on these two. And uh, this is the rule that it takes right here. So let's go ahead and make a phone call. Okay, guys, uh, one second. All right, so let's go ahead and call one two zero two seven three eight one five five zero. I'm gonna go ahead and call right now. District of Columbia. Okay, waiting for it to come in. Okay, you can you can hear that there. Okay, you can see that came in. See that that was on ringing status. Let's go ahead and scroll over. You could see that they came in and it actually took from this over to here. There are settings that uh, you could see here's the uh, the actual situation here. So you could see that the rule uh, is registered. Okay, it's actually registered here. And it's using Skype inbound. So you can actually see this is actually how it's interrupting. And right now it is a live phone call going on. Uh, like I said, you see it's this is how it works. Okay. And um, you see I did run uh, RTP through the actual uh, Burkiki. So it's actually caught the RTP as well. So you can see all the, you know, the audio. Uh, codex. Okay, you can see the routing. You can see uh, what what it did there. Okay, you can see uh, that it didn't uh, actually pick up the uh, router interface. This is the LAN once again. So this is on the inside. You can see that the registry, because it's registered through the service here. It's actually, since I bought the number and it's tied to this, our SIP user, it's now making the phone call successfully. And uh, let's go ahead and go back. Okay, and there you go. You can see, and let's just do one last thing. Okay, so we'll go on our account settings. And you can see here, right here. You can see how that's registered. Okay. Very simple. And then you can see here as well. How this is registered. And it's using the same credentials as the Skype uh, website uh, that you would find here. Okay. And that's uh, how you uh, make the actual phone call you saw it route in and accept. I'm going to go ahead and hang up now. Okay. And let's go ahead and just go back and see if it didn't hang up. Let's go ahead and close that. Okay. And it's already done. So there you go. That's how it works. Let's see. Did it? Does it show up still? No, it's gone. Okay, and that's how it works. This is uh, Kensi. Uh, this is how you use Skype Connect and uh, route using the registration. Thank you very much.